ओके नाउ आउटपुट इट सेल्फ इज ग्रोइंग एट द रेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन वी हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस थिंग राइट बट द ग्रोथ रेट इन आउटपुट इज एन ग्रोथ रेट इन कैपिटल इज एन बट स्मॉल के एन स्मॉल वाई वो ग्रो नहीं कर रहे हैं दे आर नॉट ग्रोइंग ठीक है नाउ द द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर इज दैट द सोलो मॉडल एक्सप्लेन डिफरेंसेस इन पर कैपिटल इनकम अक्रॉस कंट्री ये हमें बता पा रहा है वाई इनकम डिफर अक्रॉस कंट्रीज सो द कंट्रीज इनकम विल डिफर बिकॉज ऑफ डिफरेंट ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ द कैपिटल एंड लेबर परस्यूइंग टू इट इज ड्यू टू द डिफरेंट ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन ठीक है बट इट फेल्स टू प्रोडिक्ट Why economies exhibit sustained per capita income growth? ये तो हमें clear हो गया कि क्यों किसी economy का capital Y ज्यादा है और किसी economy का capital Y कम है ये तो हमें clear है Because capital Y का growth rate population growth rate से proportional है So that is clear to us that why capital Y is growing. This is clear to us. Why there is gap between income across countries? Why some countries are poor, some are rich? ये भी हमें clear है that why small why can be different. It can be different if the savings rate is different, and it can be different is if population growth rate is different. ये इसके level को affect कर सकता है. It can affect the level of small why. But this is not clear why in different economies the small why is growing. ये ये मॉडल नहीं बताता बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू द मॉडल दैट वी हैव स्टडीड द ग्रोथ इन स्मॉल वाई शुड बी जीरो स्मॉल वाई का लेवल कैन बी डिफरेंट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस स्मॉल वाई इज इक्वल टू स्मॉल के टू द पावर एल्फा तो हर इकोनॉमी का ये स्टडी स्टेट लेवल अलग होगा स्टडी स्टेट लेवल ऑफ दिस कैपिटल पर capita this will be different depending on where these two curves intersect hai na kisi economy ka yahan pe intersect ho raha hai some economy will have different intersection they can have different values of this depending on that there will be different values of y y is output per capita so this is clear why this y ka value will be different why this value is different ye baat hame clear hai ki ye value alag alag kyu aa raha hai because ye k alag alag hai ye k alag alag kyu hai because this intersection is happening at different places what does this intersection depends on delta n and s that is clear koi dikkat nahi hai that level of small y can be different those economies which have high small y there are rich countries those economies which have small y they are poor countries ye baat clear hai this much is clear to us but now the question is that this model says that this small y level can be different theek hai koi dikkat nahi hai level depends on the intersection but this model also tells us that the growth of this small y should be zero there should be no growth rate so now the next question that arises jo hame answer karne ki koshish karni hai is that why economies have sustained per capita income growth fir why is this small y growing in countries right so that is something that this model is not able to go ahead and answer we are not able to go ahead and answer that part theek okay? hai however we will be able to answer that part once we include the technological concept another thing which this model tells us is that suppose this is sy this is n plus delta k this is my steady state this model completely tells us that growth rate of small k is zero ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ स्मॉल वाइज ये ये मॉडल बताता है ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है इसमें कि स्मॉल के 
और स्मॉल वाई का जो ग्रोथ रेट है वो जीरो होगा ओके बट इफ करेंटली द इकोनॉमी इज बिलो इट्स स्टेडी स्टेट जरूरी नहीं है हर इकोनॉमी अपने स्टेडी स्टेट पर ऑलरेडी हो सो इफ द इकोनॉमी इज बिलो इट्स स्टेडी स्टेट then there will be growth in y and growth in capital till the point it reaches its steady state hai na so if the economy is somewhere here then it has to still reach its steady state so for a short period of time there will be growth in capital abhi to grow karega na till this level right so this is what i have written here In this model, economies may grow for a while, not forever. Once the steady state is reached, then it will not grow. But if the economy starts below the steady state, then along the transition path, it should be moving towards the steady state. अगर वो नीचे से शुरू कर रहा है, below its steady state, then it will move towards its steady state. over time however growth slows as the economy approaches its steady state and eventually growth stops forever to abhi dekho this is for example if the economy is here so this is the gap it needs to cover so it has to grow at a very high rate fir jaise usne gap cover kiya and it reaches next level then it has to cover a lesser gap then it has to cover a lesser gap so with time it has to cover less 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 gap till the point it reaches at this point where the growth stops all together because you have reached the steady state okay now i want to go ahead we have already done this equation ye hamara capital change ka equation tha that the change in capital is sy minus delta plus n times k i have divided Throughout by the value of k, and I've got this equation. Okay, instead of y, I've written k to the power alpha, and ये वाला जो part है, it becomes k to the power alpha minus one because it is k to the power alpha by k. So ये हो जाता है k to the power alpha minus one. So this part y by k, y की जगह I have replaced k to the power alpha. k k k k k to 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 the 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 power power alpha 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 by 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 becomes minus 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 so 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 equation dot is is nothing but growth growth rate rate of of so we can say that growth rate of capital is this equation. now just try to understand this thing we have given an equation for the growth rate of capital which is this equation ये जो पार्ट है दिस इज कॉन्स्टेंट एन प्लस डेल्टा दीज आर टू पैरामीटर सो दीज आर कॉन्स्टेंट राइट एल्फा इज एज्यूम्ड टू बी लेस देन वन राइट एल्फा वॉज बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन सो एल्फा इज लेस देन वन इफ एल्फा इज इन फैक्ट लेस देन वन सो एल्फा माइनस वन विल बी लेस देन जीरो नेगेटिव हो जाएगा ये पावर विल बी नेगेटिव राइट so this part i can rewrite this as s upon k to the power 1 minus alpha matlab k will come in the denominator its power is negative and here i can just go ahead and say minus n plus delta and this is the growth rate of capital theek okay. now just try to see as I increase the value of k. जैसे जैसे मैं k बढ़ाऊंगी it means I am increasing the denominator. As I increase the denominator, this value will decline. As this value will decline, the growth rate of capital will decline. What does this mean? Same thing that I just said. Suppose ये है एस टाइम्स वाई ये है एन प्लस डेल्टा के ये जो एस टाइम्स वाई है इसी को हमने रिस्ट्रक्चर करके एस अपॉन के टू द पावर वन माइनस अल्फा लिखा है एस अपॉन के टू द पावर वन माइनस अल्फा 
I know this is my steady state. When I am at a very low level initially, low level of capital, K0, right? And I will increase the value of my capital. Just as my capital badhaungi, as I will go towards the steady state. Then this value will increase. As this value will increase, S by K to the power 1 minus delta will decrease. So you see this. This is a this is a curve that shows diminishing. If you remember a concave tha, it shows diminishing returns to capital. So, jo value capital, jab humne ye small level of capital dala and what value I will get. And then if I put a little higher value of capital and then I will get some value. If I put another higher value of capital, ye value is more, 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 but it is diminishing. Kam hota ja rahe, right? So, as I am approaching towards my steady state, this value is declining. Right? Declining in the sense the changes that are happening are lesser and lesser and lesser. So the growth in capital keeps falling. Pele bohat zada growth hai, then less gap, then less gap, then less gap, then less gap. So I am approaching this K star. But first I am covering bigger gaps, then the gaps that I am covering are falling over time. So the growth rate is declining gradually unless at steady state it becomes zero.